road trip. <laughs> Woke up at 4.45 and now it's nine o'clock and we're in Fall River. We're gonna see the Lizzie Borden house. In about two hours. <laughs> Doesn't open for two hours and everyone was telling me I was gonna hit really bad traffic and that we wouldn't get here until like the middle of the day and it's 9 a.m. So, went to a Walgreens, got carded for the first time buying Sudafed. I didn't know they got carded. Yeah, because um, it's basically what they use to make speed. You can only buy, I think, two boxes of it maximum at a time. Otherwise, the police get their eye on you. All right, road trip hack. If you want to get snacks that aren't just like the regular chips and crackers or pretzels, go to Marshalls or like TJ Maxx. They always have like a bunch of really good. gourmet type yeah. shit in the checkout line for when you're shopping hungry and you're like, oh, well, it's a special. It's, it's not a regular snack. I'll treat myself. Plantain chips. Capitals. I feel like Amisha. Amisha? Like, what she feels like when she's male. Good to know. Don't let the poop mess up your poop. I gotta get, I wish I could have gotten that on video. There's a really weird LED sign at this car wash place next to us. Rubber ducky, don't forget, that's all it says. We're probably gonna go to Oak Grove Cemetery where all of the Bordens are buried. I know that we can't record video inside the actual house. We can take pictures inside. Um, and I totally was not expecting it to just be like smushed in on like a side street in this area. Like, I don't know what I was expecting, but it reminds me of New Haven. And it's just not the area I was expecting this historic house to be in. I don't know. I don't know. It's very modern. My suburban only... mind is blown. It's actually super modern and there's only a couple like old buildings. Yeah. You know, like that's thrown it. in. Yeah. <laughs> it looks weird. And most of them are apartments. So <laughs> And they're all real tall and this building's like relatively short. This video is sponsored by I Did Eyeliner today. I did eyeliner at 5 a.m. I'm not scared of anything. So yeah, things didn't exactly go as planned, but whatever. We love an awkward voiceover, so we went to the house. I barely took any pictures because I was so engrossed. It was really cool. And uh, yeah, then we got lunch. <laughs> Cemetery. The right cemetery. <laughs> so it's like 3:30. We got here. We got to Fall River at like 8:30, and we were we had time to kill before the house opened. We went to look for Lizzie's grave, at, which is at Oak Grove Cemetery. However, there are two Oak Grove cemeteries. There's one in Fall River and one in New Bedford. And guess which one we went to this morning? Not the right one. So now we're at the right one with these big gates and there's like parking spots and everything. And we're following these white arrows to Lizzie's grave. So this cemetery is so big that you can drive in and park inside of it and there's like signs. Like there's, these are streets inside the cemetery. This is gorgeous. There's some really like large, I don't know, memorials would you call that? Monument? Can you even see that? Right there, yeah, that's incredible. I've been looking forward to this trip my entire life, so I am thrilled we went to the house. It was great. Oh, look at that. It's so easy to find where you're in the right cemetery in the correct town. This is the Borden sibling, Alice, that died from childhood. Sarah Anthony Borden, their biological mother, Andrew, Abby, and then 
Emma and Lizzie. And she changed her name to Elizabeth. Photo shoot. <laughs> Some spooky lighting. My boobies are weird. What? All right, day two. Oh my god, I'm so sunburnt. Oh, that's a new light I'm seeing this in. Okay, <laughs> it's raining, which means the spooky mood, and we're we're we are about to head out for Salem. And and I don't know what that hand motion is. You need your bugles. <laughs> Um, see some museums, go to my fourth, I was gonna say fourth, fourth cemetery in a span of 48 hours because Friday night before we left did a ghost tour downtown, so that ended in that cemetery, and then that yesterday fun. morning we went to Oak Grove Cemetery in New Bedford, and then later in the day we went to the right Oak Grove Cemetery in Fall River, and now we're gonna find some cemeteries, plural possibly, <laughs> in Salem. And I might get a tattoo, we're not sure yet. Oh, my, my little tiny clippy's falling out. We're, we're gonna let her get a tattoo. We're gonna find something. Depending. Like, it's our mission today. <laughs> yes. Depending on, I'm gonna try and restrain myself at gift shops. I feel ghost. like if, I feel like the tattoo should be like the last thing we do. That's a good way to. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get a tattoo with you. Oh my gosh, yay. Let's all get tattoos. Yes. My mom's gonna lose her fucking mind. She's also, gonna, she's gonna be like, I haven't, I haven't told my mom that I accidentally got a smoking room, and she's gonna be like, Emma Victoria, you should have paid more attention. I'm gonna be like, Jennifer, you were sitting on the computer with me. Well, it, it doesn't like, it doesn't cost. A lot, doesn't no, it? but like she's more... gonna her suburban sensibilities. Oh. oh, you know what I mean? Gotcha. I yeah. Like I'm with the, the motel. I was in a motel. <laughs> Didn't have a lot of non-smoking rooms, probably. Yeah. Also, it was like whole the whole area oh. I was searching. This area, because I didn't want to stay too far outside of Fall River. There was like three hotels within our price range. Two of them were actually motels, and they had really bad ratings. This was the only one, and there was only six rooms available, so I was like, Bleh. Snatch that. Let's go to Salem. Peters. Bye, guys. Peters, back off. This is not lit well, but it's probably the coolest restaurant I have ever seen. It's all, like, sci-fi, space, nerdy themed. The pizza we're getting is called Nightman. Um, they had ones, like, um... Evil Fish and Odinson and Nick Fury and even Audrey too. Like, it's so cool in here. And and the Big Hero Six. Yeah, they have Big Hero Six. It's actually on the board back there, Baymax. Yeah. Even the placemats are ridiculously cute. They've got like their little mascot, Charlie the Space Pug. It's just so cool. I think Salem is agreeing with us so far. I'm a hungry girl. <laughs> oh my god, look at the steam coming off of our pizza. This is the Nightman. It has... Is it really hot? Yeah. <laughs> it's got um, Alfredo sauce, cheese, fontina, brisket, caramelized onions, and peppers. And oh my god, it smells so good. I am so ready to burn my entire mouth and throat. Let me know when you're recording. Oh, now I'm recording. Okay. All right. <laughs> get, get in the zone, auto fucking zone. So about 10 minutes ago, we were driving. I don't know. Into a rainstorm. And yeah, I don't know what highway we were on. Because um, I don't drive. And we're in Massachusetts. We're, we're still in Massachusetts. <laughs> um, oh my God. We heard a weird... We, heard a we didn't just hear it, we saw it, it was on the windshield. We heard a mysterious ticking sound. <laughs> More like a <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know. And then I saw that the, Are we gonna me and Emma saw that no, the, um, the windshield was all floopy. And I was like, well shit, the driver's side one was underneath the other one and they weren't moving right. Yeah. So we stopped.
dropped it at the exit. I went out of the car and I got it out and I tugged on it a bit and it just, it was real broken. It was, it was real broken. It fell out of my face. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Zone. We, we went to the zone. We got the car fixed. Yeah. So Auto zone. Okay, I'm driving still. <laughs> We're going to McDonald's now. Mickey D's. Yeah. Ariana Grande speaks to me. <laughs> so, end of our trip. We're about to get back on the highway to go back home. Let's reflect a little, ladies. What was the peak and pit of your day? That pizza from Flying Sauce. Yes. Mm -hmm. Pizza was good. Um, worth lactate. Worth lactate. The, the the pit, though. I think we have the same pit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was the peak of your day? Net -A? My day? Or, or the weekend. Trip. The trip. I like the tour of the Lizzie Borden house. I thought it was a really good tour. And I like the guy who gave it. And I thought he was really good at giving tours. Yo, yeah. he was great. Great Apple, storyteller. Jack, our, our boy Jack. Yeah, Life I really, <laughs> really like the tour too because I've been obsessed with the case for like going on five years now and I know most of the facts and details about the case and the family. I already knew most of that, but nothing compares to having a tour of the actual place and having someone who has learned this information so well, having them tell it to you as a story. Yeah. Like, being able to be a good tour guide in that way, or a docent, I guess, technically, that's a skill. Like, when I worked at the Historical Society giving tours, I know I didn't give tours that well. That guy was good at it. And we went to the cemetery, and, it, like, that was cool, because how many times in your life are you going to be at the same location that people died and where the remains are now? How often are you going to do that? The peak of my weekend is an offshoot, or branching off, shall we say, of the Lizzie Borden house. There's a pear tree there. And I actually <laughs> looked up tattoo parlors that take walk-ins near me, found one with good reviews, went to them, got there right as they were closing with just enough time, and I got a tattoo. <laughs> I got a fucking tattoo. I got a pear tattoo on my rib cage for Lizzie Borden. Back on that voiceover, so I went to Good Mojo Tattoos in Beverly, Massachusetts. Uh, it was real stress-free. This is a picture of my tattoo, like, right after we got home and I washed it off. Real nice pear. And, uh, yeah, it was a good experience. My tattoo was done by Sushi Dave. This is good. Now we have McDonald's and a drive home listening to... We had Paramore playing, but I think we need to switch to ABBA. Oh, yes. Keep the mood up. And um, interesting thing we noticed when we went to Dunkin' Donuts this morning, they put a lot of cream in your coffee. Like I know at Dunkin' Donuts, because you don't specify how much they can tend to put a lot of cream, but like, you know, I'm from Connecticut. We got two Dunkins within walking distance of my house in either direction. And they put a lot of cream in your coffee here. And I have a theory that it's because we're in coffee milk territory. Why was I expecting there to be any other vegetables on this? I thought there might be like is that the the Mc classic chicken or the, Mc, classic, the oh, classic the classic chicken. I don't. I just assumed there'd be like a wilted piece of lettuce and a slimy tomato. Nope. Just pickles. That's really good. I like the. We don't need vegetables in this car. Good on you, Mighty Mouse. Mighty Mouse is my car. She's a trooper. I'm eating a sundae with French fries. Nice. Yes. Perfect. So, we have so much food in the trunk that we haven't even touched. Yeah. Really fun trip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Made some good memories in the last 20 minutes alone. I forgot to record an outro, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, comment if you have suggestions. Bye!